William Thompson, a.k.a. Lord Kelvin, was born June 26, 1824, in Belfast, Ireland. As a child, Thompson was schooled by his father, who was a math professor, and became very interested in the sciences early on. In 1834, at the age of 10, Thompson was sent to study at Glasgow University, and later attended Cambridge University to further his studies. Following his completion of school, Thompson became a mathematical physicist and engineer. Thompson became popular due to his work in the field of thermodynamics and electrical telegraphing. In 1856, Thompson was named director of the Atlantic Telegraph Company. The transatlantic cables stretched from the United Kingdom to the United States and allowed quick and easy communication between the two continents. Before Thompson's appointment to the project, the cable was not transmitting the signal properly, and communication became difficult. Thompson realized that by using a mere galvanic meter, he could amplify the signal at 10 times the normal rate, and normal communication could be resumed. Following his success in the project, Thompson was knighted by Queen Victoria for his progress in the communications field, where he earned the name Lord Kelman. Thompson's innovation was soon adopted by countries throughout the world, and his devices was used up until the late 20th century. Continuing his work in the electrical field, Thompson wrote Memoirs of the Roman Academy of Sciences in 1857. In this work, he described his new quadrant electrometer, which covers the entire field of electrostatic measurement. With this, he invented the current balance known as Kelvin balance, or SIC, for the precise specification of the ampere, the standard unit of electrical current. Thompson's most famous work, however, is the second law of thermodynamics and all that stemmed from that. This law holds that the state of entropy in the entire universe will increase over time. It also states that changes in entropy can never be negative. On the basis of this law, the Kelvin scale was developed. This scale is able to define extremely low temperatures precisely, something that had not been possible before. Kelvin is defined as the triple point of water, equating exactly 273.16 Celsius, or 1K equals 273.16 C. Today, the international standard for scientific temperature measurement is defined as Kelvin, or K. Because of Kelvin's findings, many physical laws and formulas can be more simply expressed in terms that all people can understand. Kelvin continued to be a world-renowned celebrity until his death on December 17, 1907, at the age of 83. He was buried in Westminster Abbey, London, next to Sir Isaac Newton. This is just some basic conversion from the Kelvin to the Celsius scale and some basic information on that and what the relationship is. So as you can see, the size of a degree on a Kelvin scale is the same as a Celsius scale, so they're pretty much equal. Uh, though they, we don't call them the same thing, Kelvin is a more accurate number, but it's still expressed in terms well, it's not expressed in terms of Celsius, but it can be uh, calculated in terms of Celsius and converted to Kelvin. So, uh, 1 Kelvin is 1.8 times larger than 1 Fahrenheit. So, just to give you kind of an idea on the scale. But, um, the big equation at the bottom you can use to solve any of your Kelvin equations. So, you're going to be given a certain Celsius degree, and to, ver to convert that to Kelvin, just add that number to Kelvin, which is 273.8. Well, one six or one five. For example, if you were given a thermodynamics problem which included twenty five degrees Celsius, you would go ahead and add twenty five degrees plus two hundred and seventy three point one six degrees Celsius, and to convert that to Kelvin, and uh, you would get two hundred ninety eight point one six Kelvin. 